Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, sorry about the lack of videos in the past few days, but I had some uh, people visiting. Um, today I'm gonna give a little short tutorial on how I have customized my icons, for example, um, my dock, and all that good stuff like that. So, oh, sorry about that. Applications I use are Candy Bar. I use that to customize my icons. Um, it also works for Docs, but that's not what I use. Doc Library is what I use to uh, keep all of my Docs organized. Um, occasionally I'll use Super Docker, not my main choice. So, we'll get started with Candy Bar. Um, as you can see, I've got my icons. It's loading all my icons, so I've got general icons, folder icons, dock icon, sidebar. You could change practically anything. So you can see all of my downloaded icons. I've got a ton of them. Uh, loading, loading, loading. Just play around, mix and match with what you want. You can download them. Interface Lift has a bunch. Uh, actually, Interface Lift is where I get most of mine. So, I'll put the link to Interface Lift in the description. I actually get docs and wallpapers in there also. So, Interface Lift is a great website. It's interfacelift.com. Link will be in the description. Um, in order to change stuff, all you have to do really is... Let's see. Uh, my doc icons, my finder is a little Apple... Um, yeah, sorry about that. My finder is finder, but he's a little apple guy. I like it. So in order to change it, all you've got to do is drag your icon into the thing. It'll change. Take it out. It'll go back to its original finder icon. I'm not going to save it because I didn't do anything. Um, got all of my devices changed. I left these alone. There's no real need to. The CDs look nice. How they are. I like them. So that's basically Candy Bar. You could also change. It'll load your applications. It'll change your application. Um, like for example, to the new iChat, which isn't official. New QuickTime. Um, you could change those if you wanted to. I'm just leaving them alone. I personally just like the original icons that come with those stuff. So. Um, you can also change your docs if some of these have docs, for example. Um, I don't really like the way it sets it up for docs. I've got other programs that I said that I like to use for docs. Um, you can also change volume icons, such as hard drive, and uh, my iDisk, which is mobile me. That's pretty much candy bar. Um, I'll post a link in the description for the download of that also. So, desktop from inter interface lift also. So for my docs, I use mainly doc library. All my downloaded docs, it shows you a preview of what it's going to look like, and here are all my downloaded docs. Uh, change them, just say, so, like this one, click on it, activate. Brings up your new doc. Um, I like the one I had, which was tinted glass. Activate. Um, import. Look on your hard drive and your downloads wherever. Click import. It'll import the doc. Delete them. Have it clicked. Hit delete. It'll erase the doc. It's not that many preferences. It's a quite simple application. Works very well. Highly recommend it. Also, we have Super Docker. This can let um, configure like icon transparency. It's got a little more customization. I mean, the suck it will give you suck. So it's a little different, as you can see. I just put it in slow mode just so you can see it. It's a little different. I like it. Um, add separators, stacks, add a stack of recent items, customize the background. 
and gives you a few more customization icons. Some docs won't load in doc library, which is mainly why I have this, so I can get other docs that won't load in doc library. But overall, I use doc library for most of my docs. I do apologize, I said docs a lot. Um, but that is mainly what I use to customize my Mac. Uh, you go into my finder, you can see the um, folders, customize. I just think it makes your Mac a little more personal. So, thank you for watching. Any more questions, please feel free to contact me. Uh, comment, message, whatever. Any other videos you would like to see, don't hesitate to ask. One more thing, actually. There is this website called Swagbucks.com. Uh, Swagbucks. You've got... All you do is you search. Just say I want to search Apple. I didn't win this time. But all it is... You search, normally it gives you results from Google and Ask.com, and occasionally you will be rewarded with a swag buck. You can earn, you can use your swag bucks, redeem them for whatever, PayPal gift cards, all this stuff. It's great for basically anything. You can, all you do is search and you can win. It's great. So, I'm going to post a link to my referral in the description. Please sign up using my referral, because every time you earn a swag buck for searching, so will I. Pretty awesome. Invite your friends. It can't be easier. You win stuff by searching on the internet like you do every day. Um, this is completely legit. I've checked it out, heard it from other people's YouTube videos. I actually signed up using MacBoys. Referral, so if you hear this, Mac boy, I did use your referral. Thank you for getting me into this. Um, it's great, no catch. Please sign up. Alright, thanks for watching. So, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.